Hey up, how are we all doing? You've probably got one of these recently and you're on this video because you want to know about things you can do on it other than watch videos that Amazon provide, Netflix, etc. Well, there is already a couple of videos I've done before uh, prior to this one which demonstrate the things that you can do with it. I'm actually going to show you five more things you can do with the Amazon Fire tablet today. This is the 8 inch version I'm using but all of this stuff I'm going to show you you can use on the 7 inch, the 10 inch, literally any of them. First things first though, I'd probably recommend looking at my video where you can install the Google Play Store. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. One of the first things I would do with my Amazon tablet is make it a little bit more snappy. Now to do that, what we do is go into the settings which we get by dragging down twice from the top and pressing a little cog icon. And then if we go into device options, and then if we go into about fire tablet. Now what you will see is that mine has already got developer options enabled. But what you do is tap five times on serial number. One, two, three, four, five. You won't get that message at the bottom that says no need, you are already a developer. You will get uh, a setting that tells you that developer options has been enabled. So then you can go into developer options. And what you can actually do here, I'll just switch them on to allow me to change them. There's quite a lot of uh, a lot of settings that you can alter. But what I'm actually interested in here is the settings that are the Windows animation scale. So we're actually going to reduce these all down to 0.5 or leave them as they are. And then what you will find once you've done that everything you go into will seemingly be a little bit quicker because it's animated faster. So it just makes the device feel just that little bit snappier. Next thing I'd recommend you do is pairing a gamepad to the Amazon tablet. So if you switch your gamepad on, this should work with all PS4 and Xbox One controllers, although with the Xbox One, as long as it's got a black top here, it should be Bluetooth compatible. So the way to do this is put your controller into pairing mode by holding down the sync button on the top. And in your Amazon Fire tablet, go into the settings, which you can also access from there. Go into Bluetooth, pair new device. And what you will see eventually is Xbox wireless controller. If you tap that, I'll just show you what happens on the device. It starts to pair. And then it is connected. And now you can actually move through the menus using the controller. This is perfect for playing games. So you've got your controller hooked up. Now you probably want to play some games. Obviously in the Play Store or the Amazon App Store, there's plenty of games that you can play that can use a controller. However, you can also, from the Play Store, download something called PPSSPP. And what you can actually do with this is play PSP games. I've actually just turned the volume off here so I don't get any copyright music on the video which could result in a copyright strike. Silly system that it is. But as you can see these, these games are well and truly playable. Well this, this one is in particular. This is Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's not on the highest settings but it's on 2x PSP which means it's running at twice the resolution of what it would on the original hardware. But I'm actually playing this with a gamepad and it's a really really lovely experience. Very well impressed. You can actually emulate other, other consoles other than the PSP. It's just the PSP games are very suited to this size of screen. You won't unfortunately be able to use GameCube and Wii games on the Dolphin emulator on this device. Uh, however, hopefully in a couple of years Amazon will have uh, released a much more powerful tablet and we will be able to get that experience. So another fantastic thing you can do with an Amazon Fire tablet is if you go into Spotify, you obviously need a Spotify account for this. Bottom left hand corner you'll see something called devices available. Now this will only work if you have registered your Alexa devices. There she goes. Within your house or office or wherever you are. So if you click on that and what you can actually do is change the device that you're controlling. So if you don't want to use voice control, it's uh, another handy way 
in which you can choose what music to listen to using Spotify. So if, for example, I wanted to listen in my office, I would just select that, and then it starts playing in the office. I'm not going to do that because I don't want a copyright strike, but that's kind of how it works. So if you're a bit like me and you like uh, a bit of music production, you can you can actually do so on a Amazon Fire tablet. So just an example here, we'll uh, we'll play this and we'll mess around with it. See if we sound like Daft Punk. This app is actually called Caustic, and it's pretty much a massive rack of 90s synths and instruments. It's a really good app. Uh, you can get it from the Google Play Store, and I believe you can get it from the Amazon Store, actually. Yeah, very good value for money. Great fun. Thanks for watching. Let me know how you get on with the things that I've shown you today. Uh, please do comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.